Hey guys, it's X and Shadow, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last part, we well, we started we we did more Hailfire Peaksy stuff, and in this part, we're going to finish up Hailfire Peaks finally. Anyway, if you want to know how to get that uh, honeycomb piece legitimately without cheating and using a Clockwork Kazooie egg, that's how you get to the um, that's how you get to it. You use uh, you use that that door in the end of the icicle grotto. Yeah. Anyway. Geronimo! Ow, my face. Anyway, it looks like I wasn't completely full of bullshit. I do actually go after the ice boss before the fire boss. Yeah, that, that's sort of odd, but that's usually how it backwards of how I do it. I usually go after the, the fire boss first and then the ice boss first, but eh, whatever. You know, I bet you this is faster if you're trying to speedrun, though, and you want to finish off these bosses last. Although, again, I'm pretty sure um, going after the bosses in this level first is actually probably the smarter idea, because, well, they do that! Fucking assholes. Yeah, uh, you're gonna want to kick these guys' asses first, because those fucking icicle blasts and those lava blasts are really fucking annoying, and I'm pretty sure they have something to do with what the lag is like, in, with how big the lag is in Hellfire Peaks, because that's just yet another, um, yet another variable for the computer to crunch, you know, when to shoot icicle blasts and stuff, so getting rid of the bosses, I think, does a little bit to make the lag more bearable, but it's not, not by much, though, the lag will always be there. Unless if you happen to play the uh, the Xbox Live port, in which case the lag is completely gone. Which is, like, the number one reason why it's just the best version of the game. No fucking lag, thank Christ. Anyway, you use the Clock Climber boots to get up here, and then you go into that- OW! Fucking dick. Shooting icicle blasts at me. Ah! Also, ice physics up here. Be careful. Ah! Damn it! Freaking dick! Shoot an ice blast. <laughs> Thankfully, however, we don't have to deal with any of the ice bl any of the ice uh, physics in the actual fight because it's snowy ground as opposed to icy ground. Phew. Anyway, in the background, you'll see a similar-looking uh, room, in but only red. And of course, it's not like a 3D model; it's just like a background piece. But you'll prob you're probably getting the idea that both of these bosses are going to be pretty similar. And then you're right. Uh, this is Chili Willy. Chili spelled with a Y. Um, how you deal with this is that you've got an ice monster here. What do you think is probably the best weapon to use? How about an ice egg? Yeah, that makes sense. Now it's fire. You use fire eggs against the ice monster. So anyway, you get, you have, however, normal fire eggs won't do squat to him. So you've got to use these gigantic I uh, egg cannon thing -mahusits. You shoot an egg through there, and the egg becomes super big, and it'll hurt him. Now, you'll only ever get, like, uh, you'll only ever get three, or, yeah, you'll get four shots out of a cannon, but you can only hurt him twice before he goes into this second tongue-spitting phase, so just only shoot twice with these cannons uh, per phase, and then um, just wait, because, well, you can't do anything after that, and you'll just be wasting a shot with the cannon anyway. And it's generally a lot easier to stay near a cannon than, well, trying to move to another one, because, while try dodging the tongue isn't really that hard, you can sometimes overestimate it, uh, how hard it is, and then you, like, trap yourself by accident or something like that. Anyway, although you beat the first boss, and he's actually pretty damn easy, and I love the design of this guy, because it's just like, you think he's super epic because he's got a gigantic head, but he's really just sort of the equivalent of a dragon giraffe. <laughs> eh, I don't know, I find that pretty funny. Anyway, you actually have to beat both uh, bosses before you get your jiggy, so... Suicide! What, that's obviously the best solution to everything, right? Just suicide yourself. Anyway, uh, in order to get to the uh, fireside boss, all you have to do is fly up there with the uh, fire with the flying pad. It's a little bit more simple than trying to do that whole claw clamber boots um, deal, but it's also it, uh, I think it's arguably a little bit more dangerous because I think it's a little bit easier for him to hit you with those um, uh, fire blasts from up here. But don't take my word on that. And also, just having a flying pad's a little bit more convenient overall, because you can use it so much more than those claw climber boots. You can go to places with it, and it just makes everything better. So anyway, 
If we fought the fire boss, if we fought the ice boss with fire eggs, what do you think we're gonna fight this fire boss with? If you guess grenade eggs, you are dumb. Anyway, uh, no matter what uh, person you fight first, the general theme of the boss is still the same. He wants pizza. We don't have pizza. He's gonna take our his anger out on us by eating us instead, even though he'd really rather just have a large anchovy with some with some pineapple on the side or whatever people eat with what put whatever weird toppings you people put on your pizza. I'm just a plain cheese guy myself. I don't like anything else on top of my pizza. Now, Chili Billy, that's Chili with an eye there. Um, he's different than um, he, well I should say the second uh, dragon you fight is different than the first one you fight. Now the same- Oh god damn it! No! 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 That's the- Oops. Yeah. Basically, how this boss fight works the second time, no matter who you fight. If you fought- If you fought Chili Billy first, then his uh, pattern would be exactly the same as Chili Willy for my playthrough. And Chili Willy would be exactly the same as Chili Billy for your playthrough. But- the first dragon is obviously a lot easier than the second dragon, and the second dragon's just, well... He's really the real boss at this point, you know, he's the actual hard version of it. Although, I still think that he's much easier than Weldar is. So, OW! Yeah, it's a lot easier to get hit by his tongue attack because of stuff like that, Jesus Christ. However, uh, you can actually shoot, uh, if you can, you can actually shoot him with all three, uh, eggs this time, you know. You can get him with three different shots at once, which is super- OW! Don't do what I'm doing. Jump over his tongue once before trying to make that jump across the chasm, you know? Um, but you can get him with all three shots of a cannon at once, so do that. And that's the best way to really deal damage to the second dragon fight. Really? The- You can block yourself from his, uh, from his projectile attacks using the cannon, so- you're going to be taking most of your damage from the from the tongue, but as long as you're smart about when to jump over it and when to jump across those chasms, you'll you'll probably be fine. And also, they make uh, they make um, references to different um, uh, restaurants we've seen in the game up to this point. Uh, you know, one of them goes to make Jiggy's, which uh, who's it's called from Jiggy Wiggy's Temple brought up, and also. Um, one of them says, they'll, this one says he'll go get a couple of Big Al burgers, so uh, you all know who that guy is. Although, I gotta wonder how they fit, um, how they flip flying dragons into the rides at Witchy World, but whatever. Yes, we have 100%ed Hailfire Peaks on our first run. Yes, yes, double, triple, quadruple, yes. You have no idea how satisfying it is to just get all this stuff done in one run. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, I think we've got some cleanup crewing to do, and then we're going to be going to the next level. I'm X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys later.